And now your first Corn 5 forecast, certified most accurate by weather rate. All right, a good Monday evening, mid-Michigan. We hope your week is still going great so far. I think the big story is definitely going to continue to be the hot and humid conditions living on for a few more days. On top of that, we'll have daily storm chances as well in the mix. Let's go ahead and get you a grilling forecast. I think actually for the rest of this evening, we should be in fairly good shape. It's just going to be a very low end shower chance, but most of the rest of this evening and even into the overnight does look to stay dry. Temperatures eventually from the 80s down throughout the 70s as we're going throughout the rest of your Monday evening. Pinpoint Doppler radar live from MBS on this Monday evening is keeping us mainly dry. It has been trying to pick up any just a few very light showers just to the south of Alma there in Gratiot County. Other than that, it's staying mainly dry and it looks to do so again as we go into the overnight period. Here's the latest on uh, the remnants of Henri that continues to move up the east coast from New York and now moving throughout Boston. Torrential rains out on the east coast. Unfortunately, we will not have to deal with that system as we're going into our forecast. There will be another system on the other side of Lake Michigan that we'll have to keep an eye on as we go into tomorrow afternoon. That does look to give us more chances for some pop up showers and thunderstorms. Until then, things staying mainly dry. We'll walk you through the hour by hour as we go into the overnight period. We'll call it clear to partly cloudy as we wake up into your Tuesday morning. I think out the door for tomorrow, back to work and back to school for some of us. It looks like we'll be staying mainly dry for your main morning commute as we get past lunchtime into the afternoon. We've seen it time and time again. Peak heating will cause the chance for a few showers and thunderstorms to develop. There it is being depicted on the model right around dinner time, five, six o'clock. That looks to be our best window of opportunity, and you could get some heavy downpours if you do get under one of those developing in your area as we go into tomorrow. Really starting to wrap up, it looks like once we get past midnight, but we're going to keep that isolated chance for a few more stragglers as we go into your early Wednesday morning. Here's your forecast as we go overnight tonight. I think it's mainly dry again. 64 with clear to partly cloudy skies. We'll call it warm and it will be humid. And the humidity, that's not going anywhere anytime soon. We got a bus stop forecast for you tomorrow out the door for the kids. 65 starting and it's going to be a very hot day once again by the afternoon. Air temperatures reaching into the upper 80s. Your heat indices are going to make it feel uh, like we're in the 90s. There's the forecast as we go throughout the day tomorrow. We'll call it increasing cloud cover. It looks like most of the mornings dry again past lunchtime into the afternoon and early evening will be your best chance for any of that development uh, with the hot and humid conditions. And we also continue to track your humidity values as well. Those are going to keep you very elevated upper 60s near 70. We'll go ahead and talk about the heat indices as we're going into the day. Not only tomorrow going to be feeling like the 90s as we get into the afternoon and it's going to be a little bit of a rinse and a repeat even as we get into the day on Wednesday. Take a look at these numbers. Some of the hottest air that we've seen of the season so far. So make sure you take it easy out there if you're working for long periods of time outdoors. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. The last official week of August before we flip the calendar into September, you've got upper 80s carrying you throughout most of the week. It looks to be our coolest day on Friday, quote unquote 82 with these chances for pop up showers and thunderstorms. That does look to continue even as we go into the upcoming weekend. David and Meg, we'll send it back to you. Okay, thank you, John. And if you miss a story, catch up on our YouTube channel. But for the very latest updates, give us a like on Facebook, follow us on Instagram.